Hello everybody. Welcome to yet another session on getting started with BTP for ABAP developers. So in the last video, we understood SAP BTP from a very beginner's perspective by taking a real life analogy with a opening a world class restaurant. And in this video, we are going to understand what actually SAP BTP is. So the world is changing for businesses and businesses are having to react to this change to keep up with the market and the ever growing customer demands. And the pace at which this change is happening is also very fast, right? Which actually forces the companies to respond very quickly. As you all know that the COVID-19 pandemic tested a lot of organizations and companies and it's become very apparent that agility and adaptability are very much crucial. And in this digital world, it's not enough for the businesses to decide to make rapid changes to business processes or to transform completely. Logically, businesses are dependent on technology, specifically if they want to create differentiators in the market using Gen AI or any such machine learning or artificial intelligence. So definitely every organization company that needs a platform which would provide all such necessary products and services to quickly join forces with the business to make necessary decisions focusing on innovation and transformation. So SAP BTP, aka SAP Business Technology Platform is one such platform that provides the technical foundation for businesses to change and adapt quickly. It builds the fundamental and the technology layer of the intelligent, sustainable enterprise applications or solutions. So, so if you look at what SAP BTP really is, simply put, it's a portfolio of SAP products, services and solutions that are brought under one umbrella. It's not a product and as of now can't be found on any such price list and as we know, it's a collection of on-prem and cloud products and solutions grouped under a single umbrella. So we can clearly understand that SAP BTP is an open platform as a service, which empowers SAP developers, partners and customers alike. For SAP developers, it provides a strong product portfolio and a central platform for accelerating their development in integration. For SAP partners, they can leverage the tools and services that helps accelerate development and integration in a more efficient way, reducing time to value and reducing the implement costs. And for the customers, they can start with implementing one product and then they can add more to the landscape, building onto their core processes, leveraging their existing long-term investments or plugging in new business and technology innovations. So. Companies, as you all know, that are operating in a kind of a complex hybrid landscape of on-prem and certain cloud systems, right? They're integrating or interacting with suppliers, vendors, partners, and customers while running their own business logic, processes, and data models. Now, connecting all these business applications, processes, data model, it is very vital and important for companies to business seamlessly and efficiently. And in this manner, SAP BTP lets you integrate, create value from data and extend the SAP landscapes as we are depicting in this figure. Now let's deep dive into these different capabilities. First of all, if we take the first use case that is integration into account. So basically integration is all about connecting applications data and processes. Most of the companies have diverse landscapes with systems, applications and users spanning across cloud and on-premise environments, right? And they are interacting with any kind of external entities as well. So it's natural for the companies to want to look for efficient and cost-effective ways to connect the systems and landscapes across their environments to improve the operational efficiencies and grow their businesses. And in this regard, SAP BTP is useful in connecting applications, data and processes 
to achieve integrated business process and to deliver a unified user experience the platform enables real time data exchange across multiple cloud and on prem systems integrating applications across vendors suppliers legacy systems hyperscaler platforms and any such open source technologies now coming to the second use case that is data to value where we drive confident data driven decisions as we all know that data in the 21st century is like oil in the 18th century it's the most valuable resource of the digital economy and companies have started collecting data from various sources such as sensor data customer data customer satisfaction experience data and more such kind of data and as the data volume is growing huge year on year companies are really struggling to make use of data and create significant business value out of that huge collected data companies need not only process harmonize or manage or protect that new data but it also needs to relate it to the traditional operational data as well right so they need to be able to consolidate data in ways that doesn't only impact the existing operations while still trying to gain real time reliable insights to help in making critical business decisions so sap btp has got such products and services that support every data need of a company and now coming on to the third use case that is extensibility wherein we build and extend applications and processes to ensure rapid and continuous innovations as we all know that businesses need to adapt quickly by adopting new technology and processes and by refining the existing ones with the help of sap btp they can build extend and enhance their existing sap applications based on business needs without actually disrupting the existing operations and this is very important we can all build personalized applications to improve any kind of user productivity and meet customer employee or partner needs and the best part is the entire application life cycle is managed through the framework reducing the total operational costs with the help of either pro code or low code or no code tools which helps to automate the some software development and the flexibility with the help of in app extensibility or on stack extensibility or side by side extensibility and it gives much more flexibility to separate customizations from the core software development to as in to help build a clean core and thus by helping in decreasing the maintenance costs so in order for a house to be stable it needs to be built on a strong foundation and the same applies true for enterprise applications and that sap foundation is actually btp business technology platform so if you are running an erp the p stands for planning and those planning capabilities come from btp and so if you want to run btp as your foundation to make all of your enterprise applications successful and the best way to get started with btp is to go to sap.com/btp let me show you now so as i said to get started with btp you need to go to sap.com slash btp and once you go inside this you will be able to get a hell lot of information about the entire sap btp as a platform what are the flexibilities that you get across if you want to have a demo what are the digital innovations that you get across get across the different business functions what actually sap btp is that we just discussed now what all different benefits and features that you get as an entire technical foundation as an umbrella with the help of an bc sap btp to build on your cloud platform solutions so this is your go to place if you want to get started on to sap btp you can sign up for free to start using btp so finally i'd like to say that sap business technology platform btp isn't a foreign concept for businesses who use sap rather it's an integrated technology portfolio that enables businesses to transform data into value it combines cutting edge digital technologies such as mobile analytics capabilities which provides an unique offering that helps companies 
to transform their business processes and respond more quickly to changing customer needs. This integrated technology platform gives the, all the SAP communities and the developers a great freedom for developing their own applications and solution. And on this note, I'd like to end this video and in my upcoming video, we will talk about the different technical aspects of SAP BTP. Till then, thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video and do keep on like, share and subscribe to our videos to keep on getting more insights about getting started with BTP for ABAP developers.